Bible says that he never committed a sin. We confess our sin. He is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin. We read in Acts chapter 2, there came a mighty rushing wind. Anybody to love you till you love yourself, your faith might be you in disguise. Hello viewers, how are you today? Uh, welcome back to another episode of um, 10 Minutes with Gift McDonnell. I know you've been enjoying our, most of our programs, but today we are bringing you a topic why I'm still single is the topic for today. So most people have asked these questions some of you have prayed prayers and then you got to a point your prayers are not even to you they're not they're not they're not being answered again by god are you sure it might be that you are the problem of your 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 problem is just from you sex is spiritual it's not ordinary you don't just say i want to just uh, calm them census you are happy saying that you want to get them all the ladies in your area in your neighborhood in your school everything you census and you are happy you are, you are, your friends are healing you or more you are this you are a champion what you told you are a champion the demon has taken over your life so it is time to make a man do you want to get married now then the way to go is to follow christ Bible says, without me, you can do nothing. Now, listen to me, young man. I want you to understand this. That there's no way, there's no way you can make a good choice from testing all the women in your neighborhood, from testing all the women in your church, to testing all the women in everywhere. Every woman that passes by, you test the person. Uh, this one is not getting better. This is not having a good shape. So not having a good breast. So not having this. Who told you that's how to marry? I want to let you know that marriage is spiritual. It is not ordinary. It is not just uh, just because you, the lady is fine. You you look at the outward appearance of a lady. You didn't pray and say, "God, give me my own wife." You didn't seek God assistant, but you are trying to use your own wiseness, the way you think it is to be better for you. At the end of the day, you will find out that you have failed woefully. I want to pray for you after this program that the Almighty God will help you not to marry another man's wife. Young man, listen to me. If you marry another man's wife, you are finished. It is better to not make mistake in marriage than you than you try it. If you try a mistake in marriage, your life is finished. So let your foundation be properly directed today because if the righteous if the if the foundation is destroyed then what can the righteous do listen to me young man you're watching me wherever you're watching me now listen to me i speak to you today i want you to understand that life 
has a meaning when you make it to have a meaning without christ your life has no meaning so you must repent of your evil doing and go back to the to the to the to the, to the foundation and begin to pray for for mercy all this life you've lived all these years it cannot give you future it's not better that you decide today and say god show me my wife show me the woman you have created from my rib show me because when god created adam he says it is not good for a man to be alone and from his rib he took away he took he took his rib and make him a woman and when adam saw the woman the bible says he says he, he it was so good it is so wonderful that's what i'm trying to say when god give you your own personal your own your own partner in life you will see that is very very good are you a young lady this message has up to part four but today and we're dealing with part one but the next episode will be in the next uh, uh, cd when you get it you will get it and uh, you will see how god is going to talk to you about how what has helped what has held you bound all these years a young lady you have everything it takes you finish your school you graduated from main university now it's time for you to settle down with your husband but no you want to make sure that you make all the whole money how can you be making money below you can't serve two masters you are not seeking the you're not seeking first the kingdom of god and his righteousness but you are seeking first money because of the love of money which is the root of all evil the bible says the root of love of money is the root of all evil because of that you have go you have gone into sugar daddies you have gone into different kind of men spirit are over all over you spirit spirit all over you because each time you sleep with a man you don't know one spirit has been referred to you how many spirit some of them their behavior now is complex some of you see them right on their Facebook page, Mar uh, marital status, they say complicated. When your life is complicated in times of marriage, you will not get married. You want to date every man in the whole, in the whole Lagos. If you hear this young man is rich, you want to bring yourself to him. You go to your Facebook page or your Instagram page, all you do every day is to post your picture, picture. Even some of them are posting nude picture. You are posting different kind of picture, making yourself looking uh, to be attractive to the to the men. And those men that are coming to you are evil men because when a man is seeing your picture on the Facebook and is is calling you, it's not normal because Facebook is not the standard of prayer. You can't find a wife on Facebook because Facebook is not the place to find a wife. Bible says that he that find a wife, find a wife. He doesn't say you can go to Facebook and find a wife. You have made your life to become social media manipulated. Some of you are living a fake life, fake life, lying. You took a picture in somebody's house. You keep on saying what God does not do, doesn't exist. Is it your house? You took a picture in somebody's car. You said, "Help me and praise God." Yes, for what? For lying. Is it your car? Not your car. You keep making people feel you are okay. But when things are not okay with you, you hype yourself so much and make yourself un unreachable. Most of you, makeup has become part of your life. Listen to me, young lady. Your mothers did not do makeup before they get their husband. Your grandmother did not do makeup before they get their husband. Do you think makeup can give you a husband? A man that marries you for his makeup, huh? the man is buying fake, 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 fake products. And then everybody that buys fake products must return it back. So, do you need to be on makeup and make yourself so look so somehow? You don't need all these things. All you need to say is what the beauty of a woman is holiness. The beauty of a woman is holiness. I'm telling you this because it's very important that you take it serious. Uh, why you are still single today is because you are not putting yourself in the right perspective. Your life is your life is confused. You are confusing yourself. You keep living a life, fake life. You want to use the iPhone 12 or iPhone what, whatever the phone is. You want to use this phone. And how old are you? How can you buy a phone of 250,000 naira at age of 25? 
you hype yourself, make yourself so high. Even when your husband comes to you, he's afraid of talking to you because he sees that this girl is too expensive. Can I hack? Like, how do I start? And at the end of the day, after all these men that the God has sent to you, if a man, the, your husband will come and jam you, but he will not have interest again because you are not, you are not the original person God created for, her, for, for him. And the young man will leave you. And the next time, next time again, you will be going around and at the end of the day you don't have anybody coming to you again now you will fall back to god become a quiet star in the church you become a, a, a church goer not even a child of god because you are coming to the church for your purpose just to get married and after that marriage in the church you won't come to church anymore i know you so you must desist from this evil and this evil is terrible you must desist from it and seek the face of God and bring yourself down who you are let us know who you are every man has a wife every woman has a husband so do not pretend to marry another man's wife or do not pretend to marry another man's husband so because if you are not your real person then the enemy will make you to believe that you are somewhere where you are not and at the end of the day you will drop down from that high hill you put yourself and you will not be able to get yourself again that's why you see that most of you now are confused you are going from church to church all your prayer point is i want to get married how do you two told you that there's a prayer that is i want to get married The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek you first the kingdom of God and his, his righteousness. And all other things shall be added unto you. The Bible says that he, he, Abraham was blessed in all things. So you should be blessed in all things. But you need to seek first the kingdom of God. If you, are you a born again Christian? Are you a church goer? Do you have, any, have you have an encounter with God? If you, have had a, if you have had an encounter with Almighty God, your life will transform. So as you are hearing this message today, I want you to change your way of life. Change your way of life. All this unrighteousness is a sin. A sin is a reproach. Sin does not allow you to grow. Your sin will not allow you to grow in your promotion, in your marriage, in your, in your academics, in every way of life. Sin will bring sickness and judgment upon your life. Why can't you run away from sin? So that you will be able to meet God's blessing at the appointed time. You want to dress like a Jezebel, like a prostitute. Is it what makes you to get a husband? No. Decent men are looking for decent women. That's the truth about it. Your dressing like a prostitute does not give you a husband. Either you give you a deceit. Demon will send a candidate to you. Because the child of God will not go on to you. Why can't you rearrange yourself now and begin to pray and say, God, help me. Let me live a wonderful life. Let me live a good life. Let me live a life that is that is going to touch people. When they see you, they will tell somebody can have somebody called you for once. Born again, sister. Have you been called that way? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It matters a lot. If people see you and say this girl is a born again, it is a it is, it's a credit for you. Yeah, that's how they see you in heaven. But if they if they still not calling you. A child of God or a born again Christian, then you are not there. You must rearrange your life. If a prostitute is showing their tummy, you are showing your tummy. Are you a prostitute? So a prostitute is doing her putting his uh, uh, artificial finger, artificial nails, everything, and you are putting the same thing with them. Uh, and a prostitute is putting the artificial eye eyelid, and you are putting it the same thing with them. So what are they are doing is what you are doing. So what demarcated you from a child of God? Nothing. You show a dress to show your laps, to show your uh, armpit, show you everything. You naked yourself, almost half naked. And then you still go to church and be raising that hand up. Eh? And be saying, praise the Lord. Who are you praising? Hey, God has not, he doesn't have to be heard iniquity. So, I want to let you know, in this topic, we are going to go more deeper in this topic. In the next episode, too, you're going to be hearing more about how God, how God, why do God choose Mary? I will let you know that in the next episode. Two, you will be listening on how, why God chose Mary.
to be the mother of Jesus Christ. I will let you know that. Let's see you next time. Um, at, I hope you are blessed in this program, in this message. Do not be worried if I have spoken to you that touches you. I want you to be able to do well. That's why I have to speak to you. This is the truth. The truth is very, very good. In listening to the truth, it's only what will set you free is the truth, the word of God. So as you are listening to me today, I want you to understand that God can do all things. God can change your life. God can rearrange you. God can bring you back to the track. If you have missed your track, then it is time to give your life back to Christ. He's waiting for you now. I want to see your hand up wherever you are watching from. Listen to me. If you are watching me from anywhere, now is the time of deliverance. Raise your hand up and say, Father, say after me, Almighty God, I come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. I have sinned against you with all my behavior. Now, I want to give back my life to you. Almighty God, help me to live a good life. I surrender back to you. I'm sorry for all the atrocities I've committed that have deprived me from the goodness, your goodness and blessings. Daddy, help me, O oh God. Do not judge me with anger. Every judgment you have placed on me, O oh God, help me to revise it now. I want to serve you. I've surrendered to you. I surrender to Jesus Christ, your son. So help me, God. If you have made that prayer with me, then listen to me now. God is going to take charge of you. From now on, your, all you have been waiting for in your life. As long as God has changed you now, He's going to re retract you back to your track. Because you've, le you've left the track already. So now, I will pray for you. Most of you watching me now, you're not married. I'll give you from now to three months, from now to three months, some of you six months, some of you four months, some of you one year from now, your husband will locate you in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father in heaven, I thank you for this, ones that are watching today. This program is for them that are single, up to now, confused, single and confused. That almighty God, that you are going to help and recover them back to the track you have made for them. And as I do, as you do this, O oh God, let you all the glory belongs to you. Take all the glory in Jesus' name. Father, thank you very, very much because you have done it. And we thank you for everything. As you, are, as you have recovered them back, Father, from now till the days I've mentioned, let that be testimony in your life one by one in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much for this wonderful program. And I'll be expecting to... to to bring you more programs as time as time goes on you will hear more of the programs and more of the teachings of the almighty god in your life and your life will never remain the same but just tell people about the about this uh, tv station if you are watching from anywhere let people go directly to track this very tv station and then recommend it to your families your children your youth there is very wonderful they will learn a lot to become somebody special in their life thank you very much and god bless you I would like to see you next time. Thank you very much.